Have you ever had that phenomenal day where everything is going your way? You feel so proud of yourself and like the moment will never end? I'm sure we can all relate to a feeling like this. But have you ever wondered about what causes it? Probably not, because all humans want to think about is if their phone is charged. If they have enough battery to text, who knows who. People are so focused on finding happiness that they don't really think about what causes it and what it actually is. Let's take a let's look a little deeper to what happiness is instead of whipping out some hidden tablet to find out what time it is and when it can be done with this. According to the Miriam Webster Dictionary, happiness is when you're enjoying yourself or having a good time. It states in the text a pleasurable or satisfying experience. But happiness isn't just a physical thing. But lots of us think of happiness as something that takes over our body and makes us act a certain way. I mean, it is, but that's not all. Before we really start to find out what happiness is, let's figure out what causes happiness. If you are doing something you like, or something, you, depending on what it is, the brain will produce certain chemicals that spread through your body and make you act a certain way. An example is that if you have accomplished a goal you've been working toward, your brain will get the message that says victory by doing what you are doing or how you are doing it. It will then produce dopamine. Dopamine is a chemical that is produced when you have accomplished a goal or if you are close. It will be produced to give you that power to help you keep going. Dopamine encourages you and makes you think positively, which pushes us forward to keep working. Another example is that if you are having a really good time with your family and friends and getting emotionally closer, like becoming better friends or a more caring family member, oxytocin will be released from your brain and you will help yourself get closer because you are happy once oxytocin is produced, which makes you act kinder. Now, what is happiness? Happiness is a physical and emotional thing. Happiness is physical, though. It does make us act a special way, such as being positive, acting kinder, or being more gracious. Happiness also has something to do with our brain, and when our brain gets a happy message, it can make us do things that show we are happy, or make us more happy. Happiness is kind of something that comes and goes, depending on what you're doing or what you're seeing. It is activated by what your brain knows, but also if you're happy, it affects your brain. Like if you're doing something really great, something that you love to do, like being outside on a nice day, it will make you happy. Your mind also helps with happiness. Your brain can tell what to do depending on how you're feeling. If you're happy, your mind will make you help your mom make dinner, which I never volunteer to do because I'm afraid to say yes. But if you're feeling kind of gracious, if you're feeling kind of gracious, but if you're mad and your brain can't control it, you might step on your brain. That I don't volunteer to do. Sometimes. Happiness is an amazing thing to study. I chose it because I love being happy and making other people feel better about things so that they can be happy too. Happiness isn't just a topic. It helps you find more about yourself and who you are. I wondered what the science behind being joyful was, and it was an amazing experience. And, yes, I learned something about myself. It's that I'm liking ice cream more and more. I think that we should all learn about how, how happiness affects us. Lots of people like me don't always want to do research. But it isn't just research, it's finding out more about you. Happiness isn't just something we wear like a smile, but something waiting inside of us waiting to take flight. Be happy.